So here's a little update on my flight simulator. Just doing a quick test flight. I flew from Sacramento. I'm going to be landing, uh, or I already landed. I'll show you the replay of uh, I'm landing in Reno. But just to show you, I got I got pretty much everything. I still got to hook up my one computer that's going to control this. There's a little couple things I got to adjust. I might make a new faceplate because I don't know if you can see this. My monitor sticks out because I have one of the old CRT monitors. So I'm going to have to put another about an inch to two inches here to bring this out. So uh, when I do that, I'm going to make a new faceplate to bring it out. Uh, otherwise, as you can see, I got the other control yoke up. I had to take down the overhead switches that are over here. I have to solder them onto a board. Uh, the System 3 board that my dad gave me, uh, for I had to buy another program, which again, I've said it, I don't have all the money to buy a lot of these the stuff. So what I've got is I bought a circuit board from uh, Desktop Aviator to 20, uh, 20 switch toggles or rotary switches that works through FS UIPC so I'm gonna solder all these switches onto that tonight so I can do the engine startup switches and stuff but as far as my landing this is from the tower I'm coming in <clears throat> to Reno again terrain 400 and this was just a quick flight. I just wanted to see how my instruments and sh stuff were working. So as you can see, as my landing. And this is from the tower view. Fifty. Forty. 30, 20, 10. And I'll go one more replay from behind the plane. Three. At the end, I had to make a little bit of an adjustment and bring it back to the left. 100. Show that so you can see 400 the instruments are working terrain 300 sink rate I did IFR until I was almost there then I canceled my IFR and landed it without clearance or anything just because the way they were bringing me in I didn't care for and as you can see I gotta bring the instruments up a little bit on the bottom here I gotta bring these all up but you see I got my sp the spoilers set that were armed and then as soon as it kicks down it extended and of course the co-pilot and just you know I know somebody's going to complain I mom my dad's they did the same thing these are flashing why they have you flashing one I don't have the buttons in here for it to cancel it. Two, it doesn't bother me. I know it bothers some people, but personally, my dad and I, it doesn't bother us. I'm going to be buying the switches in a month or so. I got to work on a couple other things right now, a couple bills and uh, paying for vacation for my kids. 
but as you can see, I mean, of course, when summer gets here, I won't be flying a whole lot except at night because, I mean, right now it's only, I'd say, maybe 72 outside, but here in the garage, it is quite hot. Uh, it's probably a good 80 degrees, if not hotter. And then plus you have all the computers running, which is warming things up in here. Uh, 50, you know. 40, 30, 20, 10, 80 knots. But this is just, just a quick overview. Like I said, there's going to be things. Some of the stuff my dad and I found out, and like you saw in his, you know, we found out how to put the airports and uh, waypoints and things on things like that I mean we're still figuring it out it's coming along quite nice still got to build the base for this hopefully tonight too uh, secure I got to secure my uh, chairs down because they're just on the post right now and then of course I got to put up the felt and I'm gonna start with this side first because I fly Right now I don't have anybody really flying with me because when I fly with my dad, I fly out at his house. My son flies with me once in a while, you know, and I'll work on that side later, but my side's gonna be done first. Thank you for watching.